Yeah. What do you, you, what'd you mess up here, Stephen? Well, what'd you do wrong here? Yeah, okay. <laughs> We, we did every design in the world with guitar picks and you can go back to gallery again. I, I don't need to look at that too. I look at that every day, by the way. And hey, just so you know, um, oh God, there's another, mis you know, now that I'm going through it, I, I've, I've got more, but I won't bore you guys with all of them. But um, the thing about this guitar pick that was so fascinating to me that it, I was able to do something else. I was out of my comfort zone. I knew nothing about the uh, uh, music business, but it was so much fun. I, I never had this much fun. Um, we, I met amazing people. We were selling product all over the world. Uh, it was one of those great experiences that just happened. I mean, it was by accident that this one little skull guitar pick changed the world very quickly for me because you know we, when I went to a, a trade show at NAMM the biggest music show in the United States I, I won best of show with a piece of plastic how do you do that with a piece of plastic um, and we did that two years in a row and it taught me a lot about myself it gave me confidence that I could do other things it was probably the best experience um, the parts I didn't like about it and this is the lesson here and this is the mistake I made I had all these employees. I went from no employees to 30 employees with the warehouse, shipping to Walmart, shipping to every, all these stores, and I wasn't prepared for it. It happened that fast. And once again, I didn't have anybody to mentor me on that transition. I had a, my best friend, I remember, came over and he was really comfortable because the numbers were just getting bigger. Okay, I was floating hundreds of thousands of dollars. And my best friend came to me and, and he's a pretty successful guy. And he goes, ah, nothing. Because he was playing a much bigger game of floating millions. So I should have just taken a deep breath and go, I need help. I need someone that has more experience than I do to help me through my anxiety, uncertainty. And I didn't do that, right? I just tried to push through and I sold the company because of it. A company that was doing pretty darn well, okay? And it was that hard. I didn't realize how easy it really was because it just sold itself. It, it was easy to market. It was easy to sell. Orders came in every single day. It was a winner. I sold a winner. <laughs> I didn't know it was a winner. I just let it go. I did, because the, the anxiety of it was too much for me. And what what were not, you used to before that, Stephen? What was your... Well, I was licensing where I didn't have to do any of that stress. Mm -hmm. I didn't have to float my own money. I didn't have to do any of that. Life was really pretty easy. This, this actually took a lot of work. Here's the other thing too. I had to really work. I mean, like around the clock. Andrew probably, I don't know if he remembers it, but I lost a lot of weight and I was probably a pretty, pretty much a nervous wreck half the time. It didn't fit my personality, but did I give it a chance? I think this all comes back to, and I'm glad we're talking about this tonight, of finding people that can help you go to your next level, whatever that is. And for all of us, it's going to be different things. But I'm all about, I learned, I've, I've learned through all these experiences now, sometimes you need to find a team member or bring someone else on or find someone that's done it that's, that's, has done it more than you have and, and have a mentor, right? Or have a coach, which we do at Invent Right, or have someone there to take you through those, those areas of unknown. I didn't have to sell the business. I did. And my wife complains about it all the time. Why did you sell that business? Because that was a blast. Everybody had a blast. Um, so yeah, I made a mistake there too. If I would, some, some, sometimes I dream about if it was mine now, what I would do. 
And I get kind of excited about the designs and meeting the people and doing some really great, cool stuff. I think about it now. And I just let it go out the door. So 